The Bishop of Oxford has said Church of England clergy should be able to bless and marry gay couples. The Right Reverend Dr Stephen Croft said he was sorry his views on same-sex marriage had been slow to change. In an essay, he said clergy should also be allowed to marry a same-sex partner if they wished. Although civil marriage has been legal since 2014, the Church of England is specifically exempt. By law, no Church of England minister can bless or marry gay couples. He's been speaking to David Lum. When I first became a bishop 13 years ago, I held to the church's traditional view that marriage can only be between a man or a woman. If that was the uh, default position of the church and has been uh, for many generations. Slowly, over the last 13 years, my uh, mind has been changed. Did you kind of think of it yourself and make up your own mind based on what you could see and hear? I, I needed to do quite a lot of listening to the experience of LGBT people, uh, uh, both the ways in which they found the church non-acceptance of their relationships and uh, often parents of people who were LGBT who were finding that uh, uh, their children were being, uh, as it were, turned away from the church. I'm sorry, it's taken me a long time to change uh, my mind on this and to articulate that change of mind. And I'm sorry it's taken us so long as a church. And the majority of responses I've been having have been very positive and, and some very profoundly moving ones. I've had some responses uh, which have been reasoned arguments against what I'm saying, which are perfectly legitimate and understandable. Uh, and then a relatively small number so far of quite angry uh, responses. They're deeply upset uh, to hear a bishop uh, advocate something uh, and a change in this way in something that they believe to, uh, to be uh, forbidden by uh, the Christian scriptures. I want there to be respect for those who hold a traditional position still and if it's needed for those who uh, really find it difficult for the church to move some kind of uh, differentiated pattern of oversight. So people could for example ask a bishop from a neighbouring diocese to come and do a service in their church if, if they wanted to. But that conversation is at a really early stage and the first discernment we need to make as a church is whether it's right uh, to make this move uh, at this time. Because a lot of our viewers will say that's not progressive enough. Uh, uh, they may, uh, uh, but it's more progressive than we've been over the last 10 years. So I hope that will be uh, something at least that people can rejoice in and uh, uh, be glad about. I will be advocating as much as I can uh, for the positions that I've outlined in the booklet Together in Love and Faith uh, and for the changes that I want to see. The Bishop of Oxford there, talking to our reporter David Lum. Next.